Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading for the month of August of 2022. Yeah, welcome in, welcome in. It's so good to see you. I hope this video, this message, this reading finds you well. Please keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading. Yes, so this is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, okay? This does not have to resonate for you at any specific time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But also please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Getting engaged, involved with the channel, especially by leaving a comment, regardless as to whatever your picture is or whatever your name is, it doesn't really matter. By you leaving a comment that leaves an energetic imprint on the reading or in that space. And then that will help me through reading that, that will help me connect with you and get uh, potentially pick up on your energy even more so if you would like potentially more messages for your own personal life then definitely hit that like button subscribe leave me a comment but also it's still a general reading yeah so personal readings for personal things is always the best yes cancer all right i'm going to give this two more shuffles for you and we'll see what we've got for you at this time. Now, when I channel for people, I often see colors to start with. And for you, Cancer, I'm seeing strong levels of yellow with a little bit of green under there. For some of you, you are in a time period right now where you are pursuing love, but also what kind of, what I just heard was chasing love. Um, you might, <laughs> I mean, okay, I get this energy, Cancer, of, you just kind of like being out there, um, single and ready to mingle, out there doing the thing, wanting to meet people, wanting to, I don't know, hook up, get your, get your, I don't know, do your thing. Like, hey, that's okay, that's great. Um, what I'm really feeling here for you, Cancer, with this yellow and this green energy, yellow is action, right? So I feel like you're being very active right now, whether you're masculine or feminine, and that is not speaking to gender. I'm talking about whether you, you are more on the feminine side as in being receptive, or you're more on the masculine side as being active. I just feel like you're taking the appropriate action for whatever role you fit into or whatever role you play for love and relationships now granted keep in mind guys that this is for uh sun moon rising and north node um not necessarily a venus sign but we but this is still a general reading so anything could come up here and i guess the strongest thing that i'm feeling for you here cancer is maybe you're not necessarily looking out there looking for love but I just get this feeling that you're out there, you're ready to mingle, you're doing the damn thing, you're feeling really good, you're feeling really confident, um, and you're wanting to take action. Again, this yellow energy is leading the way for you right now. That's in the forefront of your energy, but behind it is your heart, the green chakra. I mean, obviously, when you're going in order, it goes the root, which is red, sacral, which is orange. This is in terms of your chakra system, right? Yellow is the solar plexus. That's the dominant one that I'm seeing. That's your, that's your drive and your willpower. And then, of course, right after that one is your heart chakra, the fourth chakra, which is green. So, okay, they are, they are in chronological order. They're one right after the another. But really, what I'm feeling for you, Cancer, is that your, whatever action it is that you are taking whatever inspiration you are moving with moving through whatever you are inspired by or whatever it is you're inspired to take action towards it your heart is leading the way there okay and I just feel a dominant energy for you guys of like being very open to love and romance and relationships hooking up sex whatever but also just really being willing to get out there and meet people so this doesn't have to be romantically this could just be for um oh okay this could just be for th this could be for business or anything like that now i just remembered something the day that i am recording this reading which i believe is i believe today is july 26th we have the sun in cancer right now in kind of like i want to say around like 10 or 11 degrees of cancer by this point of course this is speaking in terms of true sidereal astrology by the time this reading is released which i which i believe will be august 1st the sun will still be in cancer close to leo of course and again like i said 
this is true sidereal astrology. But then also on top of that, we have Venus in Gemini and also the moon in Gemini and right now, like right now, currently, it's going to change within the next day. Um, and, and as Venus is crossing over or I'm sorry, as the moon is conjuncting over Venus at this time, this is a time period of really being able to communicate being out there out there in the world i know that by the time you're watching this cancer um it's gonna the moon is gonna be in a different place the sun will almost be in leo but uh, for some reason i'm picking up on that now so there uh, that obviously has or I'm, at least i'm talking about it now for your reading so that obviously has some sort of connotation for you so by the time you reach this you've reached this reading, you may have already started talking to someone, you may have already met a bunch of people. At this point, this could just be a confirmation of where your energy is flowing towards right now, all right? Awesome, I am, I, I'm gonna pull cards here for you, but I do wanna look at what's at the bottom of the deck now that I just shuffled here. Okay, Six of Swords, see, look, this makes sense. You have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy for you at this moment, at least. We're gonna pull more cards, there's gonna be more, a different card at the bottom of the deck, potentially, but this is what's here right now. And I was guided to look at this. So this Six of Swords is very much speaking to this level of action orientation I feel coming from you. Regardless as to whatever your specific situation or circumstances are, Cancer, how you're feeling, or at least how your energy is feeling to me right now, how I'm translating it, is that you are ready and willing to move forward. So some of this active drive here is a, like this, a lot of this yellow energy that I'm seeing for you, this uh, uh, solar plexus, willpower, drive, action orientation energy that I'm feeling for you is dominantly a vibe of, you know what? I'm not gonna allow myself to cry about it anymore, or I've, I'm all cried out, or I'm not gonna allow myself to I'm not going to sit here while in some sort of self-pity or anything. I'm going to get myself up and I'm going to get out there and I'm going to move forward. Okay, Six of Swords. There is a strong level of determination for you, Cancer, to leave some sort of past circumstance or circumstances behind. Moving forward, engaged, enthusiastic, um, feeling inspired to cultivate a brand new day for yourself. And I, re I really think that's beautiful. And I also think this is the best way for you to do it, for you to get up and go out there and do something about it, right? And I feel like you're really inspired to do that at this time. This is excellent. All right, so let's get into the rest of this here. What's going on for Cancer? What messages do we have for Cancer for this timeless reading? First card. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the first card for you, Cancer, is the Knight of Wands. That can't be any more perfect. There's that drive. There's that enthusiasm right there. I'm just, there's so much excitement in your energy right now. There's happiness, there's freedom, there's free will. I mean, you are just, I just feel like you're really just living it up right now, okay? Seven of Swords is reversed. That's really excellent. And then, yes, and then you have the world, Cancer. I'm also wanting to take this card and the star. Look at that, Cancer. Ooh, wee. I'm loving this energy for you. Overall energy right now at the bottom of the deck, you do have the page of cups. New lease on life. Um, you, uh, with this page of cups energy here, I'm feeling like, this, I want to say this page of cups is representing a new emotional fresh start. Okay, a fresh start emotionally. Um, ready to start over, ready to try again, ready to win again is literally what I just heard. That's crazy. Well, not crazy, but it's awesome. Okay, but you're out there. You're you're seeking the opportunities um, for you. For the, I just feel like you're refreshed. That's what I just heard. You're refreshed in some way, Cancer. You're ready to emerge. Knight of Wands. This Seven of Swords in reverse here is flipping awesome. And the reason why is I feel like this Seven of Swords in reverse represents a release of a hell of a lot of toxic toxicity this could also be negative self-beliefs this could be external situations um you know that represents something that was deceptive someone that was stealing from you or a situation that was trying to get or a person that was trying to get something over on you it definitely could be external situations that represent this but ultimately i feel like the reason why you're able to overcome the physical representation of all these things is because internally you have released 
some sort of hold that this deceptive energy has been keep holding on to you with. Um, this could be, I'm picking up for some of you, this could be family conditioning. This could be societal conditioning. This could be a specific type of belief system or specific beliefs that were hindering your process is what I'm hearing. And now instead of, instead of living by these, what I want to say is by living by these rules or these laws here, seven of swords, I mean, it could be rules and laws or it could just be belief systems, whatnot, whatever. But either way, you've let go of that and you released that yeah, cancer. Releasing is the same as letting go, Eric. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but then also you really, you're closing out a big major cycle for yourself. And the star here is another representation of where that enthusiasm is coming from. I get this strong feeling for you, Cancer, that you don't know where you're going. You don't know how you're gonna get there, but you have an idea of what it is that you want. You have an idea of what it is that you wanna experience and you're willing to go forward. You're willing to continue. You're willing to, willing to pursue that. And that is really, really beautiful. Mm-mm-mm. So beautiful for you, Cancer. Let's move forward here. I want to talk more about this Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Cancer, please, Spirit. What's the Seven of Swords in reverse? Four of Swords. Okay, so you got very clear with yourself. Um, there was an effort to clear your mind. I'm, I'm getting this feeling with this Four of Swords here to clarify the Seven of Swords so far. I'm getting a feeling of like you kind of pulling yourself together and being like, okay, cancer, or okay, self, like what's really going on here? What am I actively believing in that is holding me back? Or what are these situations that have been deceptive, that have been trying to steal something from me, that have been maybe usurping or taking my power away, all right? Um, I feel, I'm gonna get more for this, but the first thing that I'm feeling for the Four of Swords here is this was a very strong moment of, let's just cut the shit. Like, let's, I just get this strong feeling of you gaining a sense of clarity. I don't know how else to put it. The, a feeling that I'm getting here, it's like, it's almost like you forced yourself into a level of clearing your mind or being level-headed. But I don't know if I want to use the for, use the word forced yourself because that sounds negative and seems detrimental, but you really, you really pulled it together, I guess I want to say, in order to keep your mind clear so that you can see past the illusions and the deceptions so that you could effectively let go or release these things. Clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse, please. Four of Swords to the Four of Wands. Whoa. Okay. And what I'm hearing with the Four of Wands is belief in yourself. So there may have been some sort of deceptive situation around you. Again, it could have been a, a belief system. It could have been a, some sort of support system. I don't know. It could have just been general society and the way that people see things, the, the, the current narratives that are going around the world and life and blah, blah, blah. What I'm getting with this Four of Wands, Cancer, is belief in yourself. That's the first thing that I heard, belief in yourself. And... Um, whatever belief it is you have in yourself, in your power, in your strength, in your ability, that trumps or seems to have trumped whatever illusions were around you. Seven of Swords in reverse. Next card you have here, bam, is the Seven of Wands. Talk about belief in self. I mean, talk about boundaries too. This is really excellent. Final card you have here is the Ten of Wands. Exactly. And then look at this, Cancer. We are right back to the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Can I get a hallelujah, amen? Yes, Cancer, this is excellent. You have decided to drop the burdens, whatever burdens you were carrying, okay? This is definitely, I'm hearing, this is definitely belief systems. You were carrying the burdens of other people's belief systems on your shoulders, okay? And that was deceptive. Yes, it was deceptive. And it was mainly deceptive in terms of the fact that just because another person believes something about yourself, I'm getting, I'm getting, um, Specifically, I'm getting beliefs around health and wellness, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, or financial, okay? Uh, but it really could be anything. Take it as it resonates. But the, the, the story that I'm getting here is that maybe someone had some really negative beliefs in terms of like the health and well-being of the physical body and what it can actually do versus what mainstream, especially we'll say Western medicine, says about the body and the ability for the, or the lack of ability really for the body to heal. 
Again, this is just hypothetical, but it could be literal for you. Take it as it resonates. But the point here is that just because someone else believes one thing and their belief creates their reality, it doesn't mean you have to be accepting of that belief to ultimately then create your reality in the same way. It feels like something around that has been released for you, Cancer. You have cleared your mind. You got really clear with yourself. You were like, well, wait a second. Wait a second. That's not me. That's not who I am. I know I'm very powerful. I know I'm stronger than this. I know I'm greater than this. I know I can do better. I know I can do more. And it's not to say that the other people that held these beliefs that you seem to be co-signing on or with, it doesn't mean they can't do it either. It doesn't mean that they are incapable of doing the same thing or having the same beliefs that you have, but they just don't. So instead of really arguing with them about it any longer, I feel like you got really clear with yourself, you cleared your mind, four of swords, you reconnected to the truth of your personal power, four of wands, okay? The truth of stability within yourself, and you said, and you said, nope, seven of wands, 10 of wands. I'm not carrying this burden any longer. That's yours to carry, it's not mine. I just heard, I just heard you are being defeated. But I feel like that could have been something you have said to these other people or whomever it is, or maybe it's just, maybe this was all internal and you were looking at this inner demon, we'll call it, and saying, no, you're being defeated right now. Or because my beliefs, I'm believing to believe, I'm, I'm choosing to believe something different about myself. Or you may have actually said something like this to the people that you are talking to in your external reality saying, look, Whatever it is you're holding, how, whatever burden it is that you want me to still carry with you, it's defeating you. It's, 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 it's debasing you. It's... I just heard calling your bluff. Interesting. I just heard it's calling your bluff. That's interesting, but I'm not getting anything any more on that. That's okay, though. Let's move forward here. Um... All right, let's clarify the world then. Clarify the world, please, Spirit, for my Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Aha, uh -huh. okay. We have the Eight of Swords. It's come out sideways here. Spirit is saying, is it reversed or upright? I'm hearing take it upright. Okay, I'm gonna take it upright. But it did fall sideways on this Knight of Wands. So this reading could be for someone that hasn't necessarily broken out of this mental conditioning or mental prison yet. Okay, someone who is on the verge of or on their way towards breaking out of this mental conditioning. If any of this has been resonating for you so far, Cancer, but you don't find yourself on the other side of this, like this energy or this reading is indicating, then I would want you to allow this reading to be a strong level of encouragement for you because really this is a necessary thing for you to do in order for yourself to just be free. That's really what I want to say here. You have the world clarified by the Eight of Swords, which did fall out on the Nine of Wands. Knight of Wands. So for some of you, yes, you have broken out of this Eight of Swords energy. You're moving forward with the Six of Swords energy. You're keeping a strong level of boundaries in, in terms of the burdens, against the burdens that you may have been carrying in the past, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. And now you're moving forward in a very enthusiastic way, Knight of Wands. But again, if you're not quite at this Knight of Wands yet, we are encouraging you to get there. Now, what has helped you to close out this cycle? Love for the self. You have the Ace of Cups, with the Eight of Swords here. It is this sense of self-love that allows you to break out of this mental conditioning or this mental prison of the Eight of Swords. Yes, Eight of Swords to the Ace of Cups. Anything else for the world here for Cancer? Loving, loving yourself, believing in your autonomy, believing in your sense of, see, look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a lot. We have now the Page of Swords, the Empress, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay. And then the overall energy is the Hierophant. Here is another, this is a definitely a representation. This Hierophant energy is definitely a representation of some sort of communal or collective or societal belief systems, societal ways of thinking, social norms, institutions, all that kind of energy. That seems to be the energy that you are breaking free from. You are literally becoming free at this time. You are freeing yourself from the dogma from the baggage here, okay? So what ha what seems to have happened here for you, Cancer, is I that you would be best for you to take 
in terms of breaking conditioning from status quo i am feeling very strongly this has something to do with family all right family belief systems or family requirements or whatever family traditions norms whatever okay but i just get family strongly now you are very much cancer you are ruler of the fourth house that is the home and family life you know what you the the, the nurture the level of nurturance that you received as a child growing up you know in your in your home So it makes sense that I would be picking up on strong familial energies. Um, family could have had a very strong influence on you on, in your lifetime up thus far. But anyway, this really this is a general reading, guys. It could be anything. But what seems to have happened here for you, Cancer, is that there was it's it's as if the universe came through for you and was showing up with this ace of cups energy. Almost like dangling a carrot of unconditional love in front of your face like this is what you could really have should you really truly believe in yourself and accept the unconditional love that the universe is always flowing towards you which seems to have piqued your interest ace of cups to the page of swords you were like wait wait what is this there's a different point of view there's a new perspective there's some there's another way that i could see this what is that spirit and then the universe shows up as the empress showing you the abundance at your disposal showing you the unconditional love at your disposal showing the unconditionally accepting and loving and nurturing energy that is available to you and all beings okay which seems to have put you in contact with maybe your inner child six of cups or helped to clear up a lot of the illusions and or confusions from the past um but the six of cups does feel like this it's like remind it reminded you of your inner child or what it may have been that you really truly wanted or what it is you really truly want out of life um out of emotional reciprocity and then that puts you into the queen of wands energy of you know what I'm going to actually align myself with it. I'm going to believe that I can have it and, I'll, and get into alignment with it so that eventually when the timing is right, I can receive it. And that has effectively closed out a cycle for you, clarifying the world here. Okay. Excellent. You're leaving the past behind. You're leaving the status quo behind. That's for sure. The Six of Cups could also represent that energy of leaving the past behind. You know, the past is the past. That used to be me, but that's not be me anymore. I'm determined to be something new, be something greater, be something better. Queen of Wands. That's excellent. Let's clarify the star for you then. Clarify the star for my Cancerians, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's the star energy for Cancer? First card we have is Justice. Bam. Excellent. Okay. Finally, for some of you, it, this feels like you're finally moving forward in terms of your true, a, a truer, I want to say, expression of your dreams. And what I'm, what I'm feeling with this justice energy here in terms of the star is the universe is celebrating this. I'm hearing and feeling energies of this is what we wanted for you all along. So the fact that you're actually going for this star energy right now is absolutely a level, a prime level, excuse me, spirit just said a prime level of justice being served in your life regardless as to how far you are towards achieving those goals or whatnot, or how far you may not be, it doesn't matter. The fact that you are choosing to have faith in yourself and pursue what it is you really truly dream of is a strong level of justice being served for you right now. Clarify the star, please. Clarify the star for Cancer. Damn, look at that, the Ten of Swords. Yes, okay, and then, oh. Cancer, you can't make this stuff up, man. You Clarifying the star, you have Justice and the Ten of Swords. Excellent. And then you have the Six of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Again, Cancer, you're moving forward. Period. Point blank. All right. So finally, let's clarify the Knight of Wands then. What's this Knight of Wands for Cancer, please, Spirit? Anything you want to say about the Knight of Wands? Yes, we have the Eight of Wands. Yes, the Four of Cups. Interesting. Clarify the Knight of Wands here. Oh shit. Okay. We have the three of pentacles, then to the king of wands. This is excellent. And look, we're back to the hierophant. All right. Excellent. So again, we're back to these belief systems. We're back to this social conditioning, social norms, family conditioning, family norms, family traditions, whatnot, whatever, family-based belief systems, all of that. I want to call it malarkey, but I, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. So I'll just call it all that stuff, right? Clarifying the Knight of Wands here, you have the Eight of Wands to the Four of Cups. So what this is saying to me 
is that you have effectively gotten to a point where you are out of this boredom energy, out of this um, apathetic energy, lack of wanting to participate is really kind of what I'm healing, f feeling and hearing here. Um, boredom, you know, just not, not feeling it, not vibing with it, right? You've effectively cleared that energy away. Eight of Wands to the Four of Cups. You are now ready to move forward. You have a clear vision. Um, the depression maybe have has cleared away from you. And now you're willing and ready to build something. Three of Pentacles to the King of Wands. I really like the fact that the King of Wands has come out here to help clarify that Knight of Wands. Because that Knight of Wands can be a little problematic sometimes. Um, not to say that he doesn't mean well. Most of the time, a truly well-aspected Knight of Wands, while he may be wishy-washy, while he may be squirrely or like, you know, total ADHD type of energy, he usually means well, okay? That is for damn sure, all right? But... There is a possibility of like burning too fast, too bright, and ultimately burning out. What I like about the fact that the King of Wands has come out to clarify this, it's saying to me that you definitely have this passionate drive, this smoldering type of energy for yourself here, this desire to move forward, experience new things, try new things, go on adventures and, and, and have a good time. It's tempered by the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands, can also be somewhat problematic. He can be seen as very selfish, maybe even nar narcissistic and egotistical, depending on how he is presented or aspected in a certain situation. But what this is saying to me, Cancer, especially with the Three of Pentacles, is that there is a determination to build something adequately. The thing about the King of Wands is that, yes, he absolutely goes for what it is he wants, but he waits, he sits back and he waits for the time to strike. As you can see in this card, he is definitely engaged. He has his eyes set on something, but he's not gonna take action right away. He's actually going to take the time to wait for the perfect right time to strike before he actually takes his action. So there's a level of patience, perseverance, temperance here for you, especially with this Three of Pentacles energy. The Three of Pentacles is teamwork and is all about building, maybe going back to the drawing board in some case, but I feel like this exuberant, excited energy within you, Cancer, is very much tempered by a level of self-confidence and maturity. Maturity to know that you don't wanna just burn too brightly too quick and then everything fizzles out. You wanna cultivate it. You wanna let that fire build. And that's a beautiful thing. So I really, I'm really encouraging you, Cancer, to move, to continue to move forward in this direction for yourself because this is, I mean, this is liberation and freedom at its finest. Yeah. All right. Let's get a closing message here for you. Closing message for my Cancerians, please, Spirit, for this reading, this timeless reading. Closing message for my Cancerians. All right, you have the Knight of Cups here. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups. That's great. You have the Two of Swords reversed, the Nine of Swords, but then Judgment reversed. Okay, I feel like this is encouragement. Again, this is encouragement for someone who hasn't quite reached this level of feeling liberated or this level of liberation yet or this level of enthusiasm excitement to move forward i feel like what this closing message here is it again is encouragement for you to drop any fear okay some of you um the problem for you right now two of swords in reverse uh, there is an active level of denial here. I, and I feel like this denial is out of fear. The Two of Swords is reversed here with the Nine of Swords. Obviously, there's that fear right there, the Nine of Swords. Um, and there's, there's a judgment call seems to have been made. But I feel like for whomever this part of the reading is for, you're kind of refusing to take action in this way or however this judgment call may be coming forward for you, okay? Um, Knight of Cups here is you moving forward with your heart center focus, moving forward with your heart chakra, moving forward towards the Ten of Cups, something that you ultimately, it, you really dream of is your ultimate wish fulfillment. For some of you, you're actively refusing to 
take advantage of the opportunity that you have for yourself to close out these old cycles because keep in mind judgment comes right before the world and you do have the world right here so either some of you are refusing out of fear and the encouragement there is to not be afraid at all. Let these things go, let the fear subside and allow yourself to live. But for others of you, this is coming. This is on its way. Knight of Cups is your heart coming forward, kind of expanding, infusing a lot of energy into you or bringing a lot of energy towards you, helping you feel confident, helping you feel safe, helping you feel grounded even. That's going to allow you to release the, uh, feelings of being blind or uh, maybe denial or whatnot, whatever, that's going to get you to help you face your fears here, which ultimately will bring a judgment, a moment of judgment towards you. Either this moment, this judgment in reverse is a refusal to accept the reality, the judgment call, the final answer, or this judgment time is coming from which then you will reach the world and you'll be able to move forward with your dreams. I love that. And also I want to put Keep in, I want to point out to you guys that you do have the king and the queen of wands here. That's really excellent. Um, that is a union of the masculine and the feminine. Those are your creative powers working together. That's you being in this receptive mode of the feminine side with the queen of wands, waiting for the right time to strike as the king of wands to take your action. That's really beautiful. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am sending you all so much love. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested and I will be I will get you all hooked up. But also, if you would just like to get more of your energies into these uh, general readings, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe for me. Get engaged in the channel. That really helps me pick up on your energy. With that said, Cancer, I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.